Hi guys, it's me again, and uh, today I'm going to give you some tips about wearing pantyhose. Uh, if you are a transgender, uh, transvestite, or a crossdresser, whichever category you think you fit into, uh, you will uh, want to know some of the basics of pantyhose wearing. Those of you who know me know that I'm a huge pantyhose buff and uh, that I wear a hose pretty much all the time, except for bed, that is. And uh, as such, I am sort of qualified to give you a few pointers on how to make uh, pantyhose look the way they should on your legs. Well, um, first of all, the most important thing, again, as a crossdresser or a transvestite, you want to shave your legs as smoothly as possible. Now, this is extremely important. If, for whatever reason, you find yourself unable to shave those legs, uh, then please consider layering your hose. That hides uh, the hairs pretty well and uh, it, it results in a much smoother, uh, much more appealing look. Um, the second thing would be to always color match. So whenever you're wearing dark hose, kind of like I am now, always wear black shoes or some kind of dark shoes with them. Uh, wearing the wrong color pantyhose can be an eyesore, essentially, and uh, as uh, someone who already probably draws a lot of attention anyway, you do not want any of that attention to be negative. Shiny or non-shiny pantyhose. Now, this is a question that uh, most people have a rather ingrained opinion about. Uh, shiny pantyhose is for occasions and situations when you want to draw attention to your legs. Now, they glisten, they sparkle, they look great. And uh, whenever uh, you put them on, automatically the eyes of the onlookers will be drawn to your legs whether you like it or not. Uh, matte hose is a bit like, uh, like aiming uh, for the no-hose look. So when you put on matte pantyhose, uh, you are essentially trying to make it appear as if you're not wearing hose at all and that your legs are indeed that perfect. Sizing is quite possibly the most important thing when picking up your tights or pantyhose or whatever you want to call it uh, because this essentially the size essentially makes or breaks the pantyhose wearing experience if you do not pick the correct size pantyhose for yourself uh, you will end up wearing a size too small or a size too big then all sorts of mischief will ensue because uh, the small pantyhose will develop runs, letters, and they will generally feel uncomfortable, sort of like that sausage case feeling that you hear so much about. And if uh, the pantyhose are too big, then they're going to sag on your legs, which is uh, one of the biggest pantyhose sins that one can commit. The bottom line is, however, that uh, because you're doing this for your own personal enjoyment, uh, you should always uh, pick and wear the sort of pantyhose that makes you happy, that you like, and uh, that you essentially want to be seen in. Uh, in that case, just disregard all the previous advice that I gave you or uh, any advice that you might find anywhere else, and uh, just stick to your uh, nylons, so to speak, and um, try to have as much fun as you possibly can.